Hey all, it's Stasi, and I am back with another art video today. Again, I've taken the footage directly from a Twitch stream. My Twitch is always linked down below. I do both art and gaming streams occasionally. Uh, so if you'd like to come join me sometime. But with this drawing today, uh, I was actually originally just sketching in my sketchbook to try and diversify and expand the bodies that I am comfortable drawing. Uh, I There are bodies do come in all different shapes, sizes, colors, and I want to be able to reflect that and celebrate it in my own art. So pushing outside of just doing the curvy girls that I usually do, uh, that's where I started with this piece. And then I scanned it in to my laptop and I decided to color it on stream, clearly. I can be a very indecisive person, especially when it comes to my art. So what I actually did with this one is I picked a random color palette that had two pinks and two blues and used that to base my coloring off of. And that's what you can see up in the corner there, that little palette. Uh, so I decided to use that and I really like drawing monster girls. So when I had this figure sketched out originally, I did decide to make her uh, a bit of a demon figure. <laughs> I think whether consciously or not, although uh, these are colours I do tend to use a lot, the contrasting blue and pink uh, is probably uh, gaining inspiration a little bit there from Zeke's Lunchbox, who is an Australian artist I've been watching and following for a while, who uses these kind of bright uh, colours, particularly in acrylic paintings. Uh, so that is admittedly probably a bit of an inspiration for the colours there. But I decided to just go in with this slightly limited colour palette to try and colour her. She wasn't an existing character or anything, just something to have a bit of fun with. The one thing I kind of struggled a bit with this in terms of I didn't have a clear idea of what I wanted beforehand, which can be a bit of a problem if you're not working with pre-planning art beforehand, which is something you probably should do and that I, I don't very often. But I struggled a bit with what I wanted to do with this bathing suit in terms of colour or pattern or things like that. And you'll see that what I ended up going with was a, kind of a happy accident of just experimenting with the different patterned brushes that Clip Studio has, but I had no idea to begin with and it was, we just played around with it as you can see. Colouring in general and shading particularly is still a big point of learning for me. I still have a long way to go and along with that I'm still again trying to just continually expand and push what I'm drawing and not always drawing the exact same thing although this is almost the exact same thing it's my usual subject matter just a slightly different shape from the smaller waist figures I usually draw but, but yeah I'm still having fun with colour and monsters and just exploring and experimenting and that's what art really is all about for me since it is a hobby rather than a career like it is for many so I'm just having fun with it and I think that's what Im is what is important <laughs> so I think I'll leave it there oh one other thing though uh, I did also I'm struggling with I mean backgrounds is something I also have to work on a lot but I'm also struggling with are filling these kind of blank spaces and I did end up giving this girl a tattoo on her arm that you'll see which is a simple kind of patterned tattoo uh, so that's something I need to work on too but I do really like the bright colors I use in my subject manner I, I tend to draw just what I enjoy but uh, yeah I think I'll, I'll uh, stop talking and just let you see uh, how this girl turned out. Don't forget that all my social links are always linked down below, including my Instagram, Stasi Arts, is where I tend to post art as well as Twitter. So yes, see you around.